If they ask you who you are, and they will ask you who you are, tell them, I'm Muslim. My heart is Muslim. It beats to the rhythm of peace. My soul is pure. It elevates with the love of Islam. And if they ask you what that means, smile and tell them this. Being Muslim means being peaceful and spreading peace, holding on to the empathy that was born with me to put myself in other humans' shoes before I point my fingers at them or look down upon them or compare myself to them. It means honoring the humanity that I was born with by educating my mind, my heart, and my soul to be actually human. It means respecting the conscience that I was given by being just and fair. It means braving through the tests and trials that life throws my way, the good ones and the bad ones, because if I am given wealth, passing the test means giving charity and keeping my feet grounded to the earth. If I am given power, passing the test means not abusing it, but using it to spread justice and fulfilling the trust that I was given by being trustworthy. And if I am given a hardship, passing the test means not depending on humans to get me out of it, but knocking myself back down to earth and realizing that there is a power greater than my pain, greater than my agony, that hears my voice when humans don't, that sees the tears that flood through my heart and suffocate my soul when humans don't. Being Muslim means standing in the face of oppression, speaking the truth even if I am one, alone, standing against the tides. Being Muslim means not allowing the actions of others to make me like them. It means apologizing when I make a mistake. It means asking myself before I sleep, did I hurt someone today? Was there something I did that I could have done better today? You see, Muslim is not just a label that we choose to use to describe ourselves. It is not a cover that we put over our heads. It is not a ring that we wear on our finger or a painting of a verse that we have on our wall. It's sad that our degrees are decorating the walls of homes that we built, thinking that we will live in them forever. But the walls of our hearts are empty of the knowledge that life has taught us. We ignore what we know is the truth, because it is hard to admit that we need to change our ways. So tell me then, what's education if you don't learn the lessons? What's education if you don't use these lessons to spread the truth? What's education if you don't abandon your old ways just because that's what those who came before you followed? Isn't that what Islam came to get rid of? But no, this is what we do instead. We rise in status with the years. We sit on thrones fooling ourselves into thinking that seats make us kings and queens better than others, forgetting that the only thing that elevates us is the knowledge that we humble our souls with. To remind ourselves that we are in this world for a reason bigger than ourselves. This land is not a place for us to occupy. We have been entrusted with this land to spread peace and justice. So if they ask you what being Muslim means, tell them it means being Muslim. Through action, not words. Through faith, not labels. Forgive me if my words sound harsh, but it saddens me that we've come to define Islam by the actions of those who say that they are Muslim. Islam has never failed me, but a few Muslims have. Humanity has never failed me, but a few humans have. But still, I stand like an olive tree with my head up high, and when they ask me who I am, I say, I am Muslim. Thank you. Thank you.